welcome to Hollywood Talks. I'm Belle Hernandez. Today, we will be talking with Marina de Tavira, the Academy Award nominated actress for her performance in Alejandro Inavitu's Roma. She is in a new series called Now and Then, which will premiere on Apple TV globally around the world. That's exciting. <laughs> No nos ha visto nadie. Podemos irnos. Seen it over and over. Nine times out of ten, they get away with it. So let's get talking. Miria, te conocí cuando viniste para uh, el tour del de Roma a los Oscars. Sí, Oscars. sí. Así es que gusto en verte de nuevo y felicidades por este nuevo uh, este nuevo programa que lo vi. Es está muy interesante y it brings together so many talented, talented actors. And have you worked with some of these actors before or are some of them like Rosie Perez? Are you just meeting them for the first time? Um, I, I, I had only worked with uh, Maribel Verdú. We, we did a film together that's called La Zona, who won a prize in the, in the uh, Venice Festival years, years ago. But we 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 hadn't seen each other in years and all the other actors i it's, it's it was first time i mean i'm i'm really good friend i was really already good friends with jose maria uh, but we we wanted to to work together we, we hadn't had the chance uh but i agree with you that this was something that really uh made this series attractive for me like all this incredible cast that i i, I had seen their their films their work their movies they're serious and, 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 and suddenly a, a project that brings all this talent together was uh, really fascinating. So how long did you work on the series? Because first you have the young kids and then you have, you know, the present. So how long did you work on the series? I mean, the, 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 the shooting was like five months. Um, wow. But we worked previously, like for another month. At, at first, uh, we were in a in a difficult moment. Uh, still, we had to do all the all the all the beginning by Zoom or by by a distance kind of work. And then when we were all were all brought together, yeah, like a month previous shooting. So maybe it was like six months in whole. Wow, is this the longest, or have you been on shows that are have been a longer shoot? Um, no, for, for a series, this is the longest, but I, I, for example, when we, sh when we do Roma, it was also like six months. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the dynamic of the story. Um, when you read it, did you get your character right away? And I know that I've only seen the first three, so I'm still trying to like put, okay, this person, when she was young, said she wanted to be the president, but that, was that you? Was that your character? I think it, that's her in, in her 20s. Uh, uh -huh. Like, she has like this big, big aspirations, maybe crazy, but, but big. Uh, and, and some of that remains in the Anna that I, that I, that I portray. But it's, but it's also, but I think it, it, it's there as something that didn't happen. Like the sadness, like the frustration. These characters do lots of things that we would say like, hey, come on, that's not okay, you know? But they're not bad in, the, in, in their essence. So I, I think the series also gives a, puts a question there about, about bad and, and good and wrong, you know? Like, um, not grace, you know? It's not like, it, there, it's not characters that, are melodramatic in that way that, I mean, they make bad choices. They do make bad choices. And it seemed like at the beginning, uh, some of them at least got off easy. You know, it's like the, the parents yeah. protected them or whatever. Make one bad decision, bad decision leads to the other. Maybe if they say, well, come on, this was an accident and they go and tell the truth. It, it, it wouldn't been so bad in 20 years later. But like right. oh, the being afraid makes them a little coward, and you know, in a way that they right. they right. they have to they have to keep hiding. 
for years. <laughs> so I, I think that's really sad. <laughs> that's a big drama trauma for the characters. Yeah. And mm -hmm. but, uh, I suspect that somebody is blackmailing them, but I have my suspicions and I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil it for other people. But um, I'm thinking it wasn't even one of them. I'm thinking it's somebody else. And you know well, the truth. I, I really can't tell. <laughs> and how do you feel about this series going out to the world? Because usually you do, you know, a series in Mexico or a series in the U.S. And sometimes it really gets a lot of uh, action at, on the international scene. But this one was actually made to be international. Yes, right? o obviously that was also something I was uh, drawn to. Uh, well, it's uh, I'm, I'm just like hoping for, 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 for the best that like, I think the story is interesting and it's, it, it can be definitely global. I don't think it's something local. Yes, it's in Spanish. Yes, it's in English. Um, but I think we are ready for that. I mean, we keep seeing series in, in all these different languages and we accept them. We're ready. We're ready. So um, I just um, I just hope like people get connected to it and, and want to see it again okay. and again. And in that sense, tell the audience why your character, why they she does what she does who is she and why does she stick with her husband when her husband is obviously not on the same page well i think she's uh loyal very loyal to something that can't be said out loud that they are together because they share a big deep secret and it's not only about the tragedy that happens it's some something more profound that has to do with someone that is not there anymore. Uh, like they are in a way together because of someone that is not, you know, because a ghost love, you know? Huh? Oh, interesting. Thank you so much for that little tidbit. Everyone, <laughs> if you want to find out what she's talking about, you got to <laughs> tune in. It's a really fascinating series with a lot, a lot of talent. Thank you so much. All the best of right. luck. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank luck. you very much. ¿Cuál fue, ¿Cuál fue la conexión en empezar a, a desarrollar esta serie? Nosotros eh, viajábamos habitualmente a Miami, a mercados, a reuniones, y nos dimos cuenta que había que nuestras reuniones eran con gente de toda Latinoamérica, gente estadounidense, y que todos conversábamos con diferentes acentos y mezclábamos el inglés y el español. Y, y nos preguntamos por qué no había ninguna serie que hiciese esto, que, que contase esta realidad de Miami. Eh, y a partir de ahí nos pusimos a buscar una historia que, con la que poder contar eh, cómo, cómo se vive en Miami y por fin mezclar diferentes acentos y, y diferentes orígenes eh, de, de, bueno, de los latinos, que somos muchos, muchos millones de personas y que hablamos el mismo sí. idioma. Precisamente porque Miami es eso, ¿no? Es, es el mundo latino junto, pero a la vez eh, conectado o siendo parte de una América que es más y más latina. <risa> Entonces pensamos que es la representación de la realidad de, de Miami, de la realidad del mundo que tenemos nosotros a nuestro alrededor. Yes, and Gideon, how does this resonate? Are they going to be confused? Are audiences um, worldwide going to be confused by the accents, by the switch, code switching that we call it? I don't think so. I think uh, audiences are very, uh, are very sophisticated now, and they're watching content from all the world, uh, especially on the streamers. And so I don't think so. And I think at the end of the day, audiences find themselves in the characters. And I think the characters here, written brilliantly by these two, um, are, are really appealing and have universal themes about them, about the human condition. And, and I found myself in all of these characters, and I'm sure just like me, the audience can as well. Beginning with a story, you see these kids are celebrating, they're having a good time, something happens, and uh, it's going to follow them throughout their whole life. But there are so many, um, so many dynamics with so many cast members holding this this secret yeah. that will uh, eventually unfold so what can we what can we tell them 
uh, to stay tuned for Gideon, the audience? Well, well, I think they can expect a lot of twists and turns in the investigation, but also in the interpersonal relationships between the characters. And uh, this idea that this one event uh, uh, changed their lives or impacted their lives is going to start being questioned by them. Is it really that one thing or is it the decisions they've made since then? And, and uh, um, which, which is a, a very human thing to think about this one thing that happened in my life and that's why my life looks like now. And I think it's a really interesting uh, question. That is deep, what you just said. Is it what happened or is it the way they are dealing with it? Y con eso los dejo porque esa es una buena pregunta que, que pone Gideon. Es, ¿Es realmente lo que pasó o lo que les está pasando hoy en día? So, este, eso tenemos que ver, así es que um, tiene que la audiencia verlo para, para saber. Y gracias por, por uh, hablar con nosotros. Muchas gracias. 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 Muchas Hasta gracias. luego. Bye bye. Hasta luego.